Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new and you like makeup, beauty, hair or hauls then please consider subscribing. So today I'm going to be doing a testing video for the Be Perfect Cosmetics 10 Second Tan. This is in the shade Ultra Dark. So it's this tan here, I've had this for ages you know, like months I think I bought this last year. Uh, I bought it when it was on offer for about a tenner but yeah, I'm not sure what price they are now, but I'll I'll link it down below for you anyway. So this is mango scented. I absolutely love mango and anything mango scented. So nice. Um, natural and organic active ingredients, skin nourishing aloe vera and green tea extracts and moisturizing vitamins A and E. It claims that it lasts three to five days, moisturises and hydrates the skin and gives a flawless application. So it says, get a gorgeous glow in seconds, instant tanning mousse that works with your skin's natural tone to create the perfect colour for you. Okay, right, so it says for best results, uh, use the tanning mitt and apply evenly in circular motions for an instant colour. Avoid showering for six to eight hours while the colour develops for a flawless tan lasting three to five days and it says fast drying so this is the bottle itself it's actually a really really decent size you get 200 ml in here so I'm going to give it a quick shake first because I always do and I'm just going to prep my skin ready for the tan first obviously I've got no makeup on um I have showered and exfoliated beforehand as well I'm just going to pop some barrier cream onto my sort of drier areas so this is one I always use this is um just a, a CNRX one that I got from I think I got it from Sally's or somewhere like that um so I'm going to apply this first to my hands my elbows my feet and my knees I might pop a bit on my a little bit on my face as well I always apply a barrier cream before I use a tan because I just find it looks a lot more natural it, it does look more flawless because those dry areas like you know as I just told you um they do tend to kind of they're like blotting paper they'll they'll soak that tan in and that's when it looks patchy so yeah that's what I like to do right then okay so that's that all done so next we'll just go ahead and apply the tan so i've just got a tan emit this is just a cocoa and eve one that i have and i'm gonna put it on my right hand first and then i'm gonna take um, maybe two pumps to start off with give it a little squish okay oh that does smell like mango that is really really nice that's better Start off rubbing it in circular motions, as it says, into my arms. A little bit more. I prefer to take a little bit at a time and kind of, you know, then take too much and just build it up, really. Okay, so that's where we are at the moment. It doesn't massively different, but I know obviously this is just a guide colour. It's not the, the tan itself. we we'll just go over once more, I think. Maybe I didn't put quite enough on. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that. It does look really nice, actually. It's, it's kind of like, it looks quite nice and glowy. Right, okay. So then I'll go on and do my chest. So again, I've taken two pumps and then what we'll do around here. Bring my strap down. And then while my mitt is still on my right hand, 
I'm going to go and I'm going to do my tummy and my legs as well. Okay, and then I'm going to swap hands and do my right arm. Lovely. Right, so now I've just got my back left to do, so I'm going to do that off camera because... Uh, I have to strip naked for that, so I'm not doing that on camera. <laughs> and then I'll come back and we'll do my face, hands and feet. Right, okay, so that's that done. So next I'm gonna do my face. I don't put a lot on my face. It is just, just a touch because it, it wears off really quick anyway, to be honest. So I'm just using, this is a, a little brush that I got um, from Coco and Eve. So I'm just gonna use that and a tiny, tiny pump. So like, that much just to start off you can always use more if you need it um but obviously I've got that barrier cream on as well so it's not going to like really soak into my skin on my face and then I kind of buff it in like a foundation really but quite quick make sure you get over your ears as well Tiny bit again on the other whoop on the other side. Ow without poking yourself in the eye. Bloody hell. Fantastic. And then I'll do the same on my neck. So with the brush again, a slightly bigger pump on this. I'm just going to my neck. Bring it right around the back of your ears. like that so it's blended in to obviously where you've put it on your chest as well and then still using the brush we'll do our feet next sorry wobble the camera so for feet again using the brush i put one pump on and then kind of it's really hard to show you on my feet hang on and then just buff it in. Excuse my toenails, I know these are gross, but um, I'm doing them later. Right, just buff it in like you did on your face. And then hands, and basically we're gonna do that the same as what we just did the feet. So I take the tiniest amount though when I do my hands. So kind of half a pump and then just go on the back and very quickly buff it in. Not really going up my fingers yet, I'm just doing the kind of sides. And then with the excess, I then kind of run it up my fingers. And 
and just in between a little bit so it looks a bit more natural okay so like that and then um the very last thing that i do is i just take a little wipe and i wipe the palms of my hands just obviously i've had a mitt on but i might have you know touched myself somewhere when you know i was taking it off and doing whatever so i just like to wipe over the palms of my hands with a wet wipe as well Okay, so that is that all on, and I can honestly say it goes on really well. It glides on. I can see why it's called a 10 second tan. Obviously, it's quick to apply. It smells gorgeous, and it dries really, really quick, which I love. This is now, you know, it, it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. It, it just feels, yeah, normal, really. So it is now, I think it's about nine o'clock in the morning. It's early. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to leave this on till about three, I think. So we'll give it six hours and then I'll just wash it off with just plain water. And then what I think I'll do, because I've got to take my, my son to get his hair cut after school today. So I'll just rinse it off with warm water and then I will obviously do all my moisturising and everything like that this evening. And I'll probably come back on camera tomorrow morning just because I find that when you first rinse it off, Sometimes you look and you think, oh, oh my tan's gone because because obviously the guide colour washes away. And then I find that the next day after you wake up, it kind of doesn't doesn't overly develop more, but it does a little bit. It kind of settles more than anything. So, yeah, I'll come back tomorrow morning and I will show you what it looks like then. Right. OK, so it has been on for I actually left it on for longer because I couldn't be bothered to shower it off before I took my son to the hairdressers <laughs> so I think I, I must have left it on for about nine hours so obviously it said maximum or up to eight hours so I went just over that so I did leave it on for like the maximum time that they suggested so I showered it off last night obviously went to bed slept and I've woken up this morning and I've just put moisturizer on this morning and that's it I did moisturize last night as well but anyway, so this is how it's turned out. I really, really like this. Whether I would call it ultra dark, I mean, I've had like mega, mega dark tans in the past. And to be honest, they've been too dark for me. Whereas this one for me is perfect. It is, I would say it's dark, but I wouldn't say it's ultra dark. But yeah, so it's gone on so even. In fact, the lights actually make it look paler than it actually is. I might try and do it in like, turn the lights off or something in a minute so you can see it properly. But yeah, you can see it's so nice and even, like round my elbows here. Yeah, all right, granted it has sunk in a little bit, even though I did put barrier cream in. Yeah, but it's not, I mean, it's not too bad. So round there, uh, round my shoulders, and then on my legs, it's gone really nice actually, on my legs, my knees. Do you know what, I think the camera's making these bits look kind of darker than they actually are. They are a little bit darker, but they're not that bad. They're not as bad as they look on camera at all. I promise you that. Yeah, if anything, it's actually really even. So yeah, hands. So as I showed you my little, trick with my hands so yeah no orange palms the hands are fine so yeah I really really like it as I say I'll try and dim the lights let's do that now is that any better it's really dull today so it's hard to do it in natural light but yeah so yeah I don't know if you can see oh, let's tuck them bingo wings away yeah you can uh, kind of see any better in the natural light but yeah in person it's it's a beautiful beautiful color i really really like it so i hope you enjoyed watching and if you did please give me a thumbs up and i'd really appreciate it it means the absolute world to me if you did enjoy watching this video and you would like to see more content from me in the future and you would like to subscribe to my channel until then thanks for watching bye
can you want me for me? It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby